Hey everyone, ever wonder what actually happens to that pizza or apple after you swallow it? It's not just magic, it's your incredible digestive system doing its thing. Think of your body like a super efficient factory, and the digestive system is the part that processes all the raw materials. Your food, it breaks everything down so your body can grab the good stuff it needs. The journey starts right in your mouth. When you chew, your teeth break food into smaller pieces, and saliva mixes in. Saliva has special enzymes that start breaking down carbs, like the starch in bread. Then, you swallow. Your tongue pushes the food to the back of your throat, and it slides down a tube called the esophagus. It's like a slippery slide straight to your stomach. Next stop, your stomach. This is a muscular bag that churns and mixes the food with strong acids and enzymes. It's like a powerful blender with added chemicals. This acid bath helps break down proteins like the chicken in your sandwich. Fast food with lots of fat and processed stuff can sometimes hang out here a bit longer, making your stomach work harder. After the stomach, the food mush moves into the small intestine. This tube is super long, about 20 feet. Here, more enzymes from the pancreas and liver join in. This is where the real nutrient absorption happens. Tiny finger-like structures called villi line the walls and grab all the good stuff, vitamins, minerals, sugars, and fats, sending them into your bloodstream. What's left after the small intestine moves into the large intestine. This part is shorter but wider. Its main job is to soak up water and electrolytes. This process turns the remaining waste into a more solid form. Good bacteria live here and help break down some things your body couldn't, producing some vitamins too. Finally, the waste is stored in the rectum until your body is ready to eliminate it. This is the very last step of the digestive journey. Fun fact. The whole process from mouth to exit can take anywhere from 24 to 72 hours. It depends on what you eat and how active you are. Sometimes the system hits a snag. Bloating can happen if gas builds up, often from certain foods or eating too fast. Constipation means waste moves too slowly, usually from not enough fiber or water. Eating too much greasy food can sometimes upset your stomach or make things move too fast or too slow. It's all about balance. So, how do you keep this amazing factory running smoothly? Eat plenty of fiber from fruits, veggies, and whole grains. Fiber helps everything move along nicely. Drink lots of water. It helps break down food and keeps things from getting stuck. And try to eat mindfully, chewing your food well and not rushing. Your digestive system is pretty amazing, constantly working to fuel your body. Treat it well, and it'll take good care of you.